Forget Mars versus Venus, it's more like socks versus laundry baskets. In today's cartoon story joke, The Age-Old Battle of the Sexes, scientists have debated for years. How different are men's and women's brains, really? Today, we're not just cracking open skulls, metaphorically, of course. We're going full-on Indiana Jones, venturing deep into the uncharted territory of male versus female thought patterns. Buckle up, folks, because we're about to witness the discovery of a mental artifact so powerful, so earth-shattering, it'll make you question everything you thought you knew about Laundry Day. Back in the day, science types thought the only difference between men's and women's brains came from life experiences. You know, like wives reminding their husbands to breathe occasionally. Insert dramatic fainting couch emoji here. But one guy, Nirao Shah, wasn't buying it. He was on a mission to find the real reason behind why some folks are champion shoppers and others get lost asking for directions. Hint, it's usually not the shoppers. So, he dug into genes and how they might influence these behaviors differently in men and women. This wasn't exactly a crowd pleaser at the Brain Research Society. It was like suggesting squirrels built the pyramids, except way less impressive. But Shaw was persistent, and guess what? Turns out, there might be some truth to that whole men are from Mars, women are from Venus thing after all. Fast forward to today, and science has a mountain of evidence. We've peeked inside brains, and let me tell you, they're not all wired the same way. Men's brains seem more into bro time activities like navigating with a map, hopefully, and picturing complex shapes like the perfect parking spot. Women's brains, on the other hand, excel at remembering details using language and maybe even multitasking, like remembering where they parked while chatting on the phone, for example. But hey, this isn't a competition. Think of them as specialized tools. A hammer is great for building a deck, but you wouldn't use it for brain surgery unless you're a very determined zombie. The kicker? These brain differences start early, way before pink versus blue toys even enter the picture. Even babies show preferences for certain activities. It's like nature is pre-programming us. But why the difference? Enter the hormone stage. During development, a testosterone surge in males shapes their brains differently than the estrogen symphony in females. It's like a cosmic jukebox playing different tunes for each sex. These hormonal differences might even explain why some disorders affect men and women differently, like why women are more prone to depression and anxiety, while men are more susceptible to alcoholism and autism. The science is still unfolding, but one thing's clear, our brains aren't one size fits all. Understanding these differences can help us appreciate our strengths, weaknesses, and maybe even explain why men never seem to understand those subtle hints women drop, like needing a new car. Just saying. Now, onto the real reason we're here. A couple of guys were in the dressing room, practically horizontal after a brutal golf game. A mobile phone starts to ring, and one of the guys answers it while putting it on speaker while he continues to get dressed. A woman over the speaker for everyone to hear said, Hi, honey. I am in town, and I found these wonderful pair of leather boots. You know those ones which I always wanted. How much? The guy asks for everyone to hear. The wife said, Well, it's a bit expensive. It's $500. Honey, you deserve it. Get it. And put it on the credit card. The man said. Then to the envy of all the guys, the wife said, Oh, and on my way here, I passed the Mercedes dealership and they have one of those cabriolet sports cars, which you know we spoke about before. And it's in that color you like. You know they don't stick around for long on the showroom floor. Go buy it and make sure he gives you a good price on your vehicle. Negotiate hard, but get it. The guy said. To all the guy's amusement, as they are now filled with envy, the wife continued. Oh, and on the way here, the agent phoned for that holiday home we made an offer on. The sellers have dropped their asking price. Yes. I heard the couple was getting a divorce. Tell him we will take it and transfer the deposit. The guy said. The wife on the other end of the phone was very happy and said, Okay, I will do all of it right away, and then we can have a wonderful time tonight. Cheers. The man took the phone from speaker, hung up, and continued to get dressed. 
all the men in the dressing room were filled with envy. As he was ready to leave the dressing room, the guy asked all the guys in the dressing room, Do any of you guys know who the idiot is that forgot his mobile phone here in the dressing room? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.